Hi there, it's Sam from Poodlestock.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today and on a Saturday in the middle of the month. So it can't possibly be cards in the mail to me. So what is it? It's a team video hop. So myself and some of my team who do videos, we are hopping this week. So all you do is you watch my video. When you finish watching my video, you click open the description bar down below and you will see hyperlinks to all of the people taking part in the hop including the, per the next person on the list who is following my project. And then you watch um, that person's video and then you click open the description bar and you get the next one and so on. And you go all the way around in a loop and you would end up back with me. So it's very exciting. We don't do these very often. So big shout out to Hannah, um, stamping by Hannah, who has organised and coordinated this for us. She coordinates all of our hops. And this project is mine. So we are focusing on, it's going to be either celebration or it's going to be the mini catalogue. So you will see a little bit of both from everybody. And I decided to use my much adored whimsy and wonder. So this is a little lidded box. So the lid is on there. Ribbon slides off. Lid comes off. Bravo. So I'm going to show you how to make it. So, whoops. First off, you need a piece of cardstock that measures 8 by 11 inches because we're metric here 20 by 28 centimeters and you need to score it on the long side oh, okay let's get my trimmer out that's not a trimmer at all that is a simply scored get my scoring tool out on the long side score it at four and a half and six and a half inches which is 11 and a half and 16 and a half centimetres. And on the short side, score it at two and six inches, which again in metric is five and 15. The lid, this is a piece that measures eight by six inches, which is 20 by 15 centimetres. And if you have a pattern that has a right way and a wrong way, you want on the front it to be the right way around. It's gonna be the upside down on the back, but that's the back, nobody cares. <laughs> so you need to cut it landscape style. Okay, and we're gonna score that at two inches on all sides, but you do need to adjust it very slightly. So it's like one and 15 sixteenths of an inch is actually where you're scoring it. So score it at, yeah, five centimetres. So something like 4.8 centimetres on all four sides. The finished dimensions of the box, five inch, sorry, two inches by four inches by four and a half, which is five by 10 by 11 and a half. I'm just gonna check. Yes, it is the four and a half by four. Okay, did I score that one? Nope. Just keep scoring all the way round. Oh, I did do that one. So let's move it out of the way. So my team are frankly remarkable. They are the best team ever. We are a group who support one another through everything. Um, we cheer when somebody promotes, we cheer when somebody gets a new customer, when somebody ventures into looking to make it a business, we cheer, all of those things. There's no competitiveness in our team. I do, it's not something that is my cup of tea anyway. I'm not particularly competitive with anybody other than myself. And so it's not something we as a team particularly instinctively do. And when somebody joins, no matter what they want to get, ooh, Oh, okay. No matter what anybody wants to do when they join, whether they just simply want to get a discount or they want to start making a business, everybody is loved and adored. Right, so I'm going to cut straight down there and wedge into the square. So you cut straight on the rectangle and wedge into the square. So, yeah, so our team are just incredible. We're scattered all over the UK and our four mainland Europe countries. So the Netherlands, Austria, Germany, and France. I just trimmed those. And I'm gonna cut straight on the rectangle and I'm gonna wedge into my square and hack a chunk off and just repeat that round. So yeah, and I, I actually have a direct team who are in all five of our countries. 
and we don't let language or geography hinder us at all um yeah that doesn't stop us and although we do get together in person and yes i have a big team event coming up towards the end of september so if you want to be involved you've got to be part of my team um that's a local one here in the uk but stampin up puts on events overseas <laughs> outside of pandemics they do and i try and always do something and to kind of piggyback off that i guess so but obviously because it's been a couple of years since we've all seen one another i am aiming to do an event over on mainland europe so it's very exciting and obviously our team is rapidly growing right now because of the incredible promotion that stampin up's got on so it's not just myself that is bringing in new team members my amazing team are too they are growing their businesses and actually what they're doing is they're just simply saying how fantastic it is to be a demonstrator and letting people make their own decisions from there because you know nobody wants to be sold out do they and yeah when when you tell people how much fun you're having and you guys get to see that here on youtube three times a week how much fun i have you know it's what's the word infectious that's the word okay <laughs> let me take the backing off these so you've seen what i've done so i've got it folded in so these pits are going to stick to there and then this is going to come and wrap around and then my lid so Okay. Sam's concentrating, she's not talking. I can't multitask <clears throat> when I'm crafting and filming. Okay, so this one, as I said, is going to stick onto here. And that one onto there. And then those are going to wrap around and come onto here. Let's peel those off too. very brave of me taking all of this adhesive off in one go but you know there we go and so this is going to line up along here and see look big mistake Sam <laughs> can't get my hands in the right position today what's going on why can't I do this Ooh, I've got a little excess there that's why there's a bit I didn't trim away. I don't know if you can see that. Tiny little bit and it's making all the difference. <gasps> Who knew? See, there we go. It's done now. <laughs> How complicated can I make one project look? I promise you it's not complicated. And that one. <laughs> so that's my box face done so here if i bring it around this way these two are going to go in and fold up and fold up so i'm going to pop some adhesive on those little tabs let's get my tear and tape again and this is my take your pick tool and on the end here it's the um the pickup tool but i kept twisting it off and it was just a little bit too long for my hand so i've taken it off and it sits in a little pot and then i have a spare that has one on and i put you I love it. I think I forgot to remember to use it because I had the paper piercers that we stocked forever. But then they started going walk about around the house, so I don't know where they all are. And I thought, oh, I remember. I've got to take your pick tool. Okay, so these parcels, there is a right way and the, a wrong way. So as you can see, these bows, the tails are hanging down and those ones, they're going upwards. I don't think it matters too much but yes technically that would be the right way round so I'm looking for there it is I was looking for the front of the box here it's not it's, those are the bits that 
go backwards. So that is the front of my box. Right. So I've got this, what's this called? Glittered organdy ribbon. And it's got the iridescent flecks of glitter in it that match the iridescent look on this paper. So, you know, that's why I chose it. And you do not want to know how long it took me to get that neat bow on my first project. No matter what I did, my ribbons kept twisting as they're trying to do net. Look, that one's twisted. Oh, for goodness sake. Ugh. Let's just pretend that's as pretty as the other one. That will do nicely. And then on here, I've just got a little bit of stamping and die cutting. So here's my dies, Christmas tree dies, and the whimsical trees I love. So I'm going to take that one, and I'm going to take the same phrase because, you know, I want to get a, you know, the same but different look. One of those, I'll have one of those. Have I got any whisper white? No. <laughs> on the other side of my desk, there we go. There's some bits, somebody's contacting me. <laughs> <laughs> so I need that on there and then I'm going to come to that shortly is that going to fit on there? yes so I'm going to go with polished pink which is one of the pinks in the parcel it's this one here <gasps> fabulous colour Close that up. Do you know what? Lane Swerve, while I'm here, I'm going to do three trees. I've changed my mind. I'm going to stack trees up. So that means I need mint macaron. And I'm going to bring in this one. And a couple more blocks. because I don't want to have, yeah, I'm going to have it the same but different. It's going to have a little a little blue tree there. Oh, that was not a very good blue tree. That's better. And a mint macaron one here. Scooch those out of the way, and then I've got my big one, big stamping cup in the box here. And although we don't currently have it, I do have my cutting plate, my magnetic cutting plate. But we're waiting for ours to come back. They are coming back, um, but rightfully so. Stamping up rejected the quality, so we're waiting on new ones. But I love it. I still use mine because, you know, I can handle it being wibbly wobbly. And because I want you to head from me, go and see my fabulous team projects. And I don't want to keep you here all day watching me battle with a die cutting machine and post-it notes that don't want to stick. So... Run that lot through. And I can finish putting this together. So we're going to use dimensionals aplenty. Have one here. And then the green one there. And this one is going to attach to the front. So it just gives you a third layer of dimension see that there no it's because it wants to focus on my scissors there we go so it's just giving an extra level of dimension 
And that is my Poodler's Team video hop project. Like I say, click open the description bar and go and check out everybody else. Thank you ever so much for joining me. And maybe also join my team. Bye. <laughs>